is on the way. Somebody just clap your hand and say change is on the way. Say it again. Change is on the way. Grab your Bibles and go with me to once again Psalm 66. I'm going to do this as expeditiously as possible. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. If you want a Bible, the ushers are passing them out. Amen. If you are here visiting with us today, do you mind just standing? We don't want you to be embarrassed, but we want you to be honored. Can you just stand up and we just want to wave at you and welcome you? Amen. Some for the first time, some back. Let's thank God for our visitors. Oh, man. Bless God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Citadel, can y'all love on them? Can you just, just, if you're around them, can you just give them some hugs real quick? Glory to God. Amen. Can you just give them some hugs real quick? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank God for everyone who is watching online. Amen. We welcome our virtual church in this season. Glory to God. Amen. I'm grateful. Amen. That the Lord has blessed us to come together once again. I want to say thank you to all of the students that are joining us. Amen. From UNCG and from Bennett and North Carolina a &T. Glory to God. This Wednesday, we will have our Bible study campus ministry, rather, will be on the campus of North Carolina a &T this Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the ballroom at the Student Center. Amen. Make sure you pull up because I'm going to be concluding my series on morals. Also, this week is Men's Legacy Week starting tomorrow. You ought to get ready. Amen. The disciples are about to step out and take their rightful place. Amen. Starting with events on when on Monday and continuing on throughout the week. Men's Legacy Week is going to be crazy. And on next Sunday is Men's Legacy Worship Service. If you are a man or if you know a brother, you got a brother, you're connected to a brother, please try, work hard. Please put some energy into getting the men out here on next Sunday because it is going to be pandemonium. Amen. Men, I'm excited for you. I'm excited. Let's give God praise for amen. Glory to God. Everything that's going to happen on next week. I was here last week and I want to conclude here. I want you to hear with me a singular verse. It says here, I cried, verse 17, Psalm 66. I cried unto God with my mouth and God was extolled with my tongue. Verse 18, second verse for your consideration. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord won't hear me. Verse 19, but verily, truly, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Today I want to use again as a subject part two of this sermon, God heard me. Lord, give me clarity of thought and precision of speech. Give us all something we don't already have. We come to speak and preach and praise you against the wiles of the enemy and so save us set us free and deliver us in this place in Jesus name amen God heard me you may take your seat I'm going to be very quick today so I would encourage you all to hang with me let's go from zero to 100 real fast the writer of this psalm is unknown the writer of this song, we cannot attribute this psalm to one specific writer. Um, many, or much of the Psalter is attributed to King David, a warrior, a praiser, 
a lover of God who also failed as one of God's servants. The writer of this psalm, though, is unknown to us, which lets me know it's up for grabs. When I read this psalm, I best understand it in its backward context and not its forward context. The reason why is because this psalm begins with this, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, sing forth the honor of his name and make his praise glorious. The psalm actually commences with a praise. But sometimes the, we, the reason why our worship and our praise and our prayer life is lacking is because we don't always remember or know what to be grateful for. Yeah. Everybody praises God when, when they get a new job. But nobody wants to praise God when they lose their job. I think praise would benefit you more in one place than the other. Praise, when you get a job, says to God, I now believe. Praise, when you lose your job, says to God, I still believe. Can anybody praise God not seeing, not knowing, not having, just praise God in nothingness other than the fact that he is still God? So nobody wants to make a joyful noise because sometimes we forget what it is and why it is we're praising God. But if you look at this, glory to God, in verse, uh, in, in, the, in the backward context of it, it says here, glory to God, in verse 18, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Let me explain to you what that means. The writer of this psalm had gone through so much. And much of it was him or her to blame. As a matter of fact, it's really speaking more plurally. Because in the, in the middle portion of this psalm, you'll see beginning in verse 6 and going on down, he turned the sea into dry land and they went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice. So you see now there's a community attached to this scripture. And you can see now that there are miracles attached to this scripture. You don't even understand what I'm saying already. Glory to God. It says here that God, hallelujah, verse 9, which holds our soul in life and suffers not our foot to be moved. It's talking about the fact that if we had a went through the sea on wet land, we would have dried. But God gave us miracle enough to part the sea and let us walk through the sea on dry land. Can somebody explain to me where dry land is in the sea? It's unexplainable. And what you have to realize is that there's some relation to your deliverances and their deliverances. That there are some situations that God brought you and me out of that is also unexplainable. But when you get in your better days and you don't have reminders to help you to remember how much God has done for you, you are not grateful. But the reminder is that we could could have drowned we could have died we could have been victims or we could also still be captive but God 
God gave them miracles and if God has given anybody in here a miracle some unexplainable situations that God worked out some unexplainable debts that God paid some unexplainable scholarships that you didn't actually qualify for some unexplainable job offers some unexplainable provisions that God made then maybe you may understand what it means to make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands sing forth the honor of his name and make his praise glorious tap your neighbor and say make his praise glorious and then turn around and do it right now regard iniquity in my heart I'm dancing around here if I regard iniquity in my heart verse 18 what the writer the author is up for grabs <laughs> what the writer the author is saying to us is that there was so much sin and so much mess and so much tribulation and so much trouble there was so much iniquity that came into the righteous God, this, this author is not talking about any people. It's talking about God's people. Glory to God. Any of us in here consider ourselves God's people? Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see that, God? Amen. Put your hands down now. Any of us in here willing to admit we sinning people too? Oh, 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 oh. oh look at this. Glory to God. Amen. How can sinning people and God's people be one and the same? The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. You didn't know you had something to praise God for? You didn't know you had something to worship God for? You didn't know that you could have drowned? Don't think that just because you didn't wasn't a part of Israel that walked across the Red Sea that God has instilled the waters and the winds of death, hell. Glory to God, held back the hand, held hounds and the angels of death on your life. And what the writer is saying is that if I did not give all of my experiences that God put me through and took me through if I didn't release them from my heart I might not be in God's good grace today it said but God heard me when I cried when I was in trouble when the sin of my life had brought shame in my life and I was in a deep depressive state we were in chains we were bound in our minds we were bound by our own ways but somehow or another God still gave us miracles God still provided exponential growth in our hearts and our minds and our bodies God still gave us provision and the psalmist started out instead of telling you what the problem is the psalmist started out by telling you what the praise was y'all he said oh my god hallelujah said make his praise glorious glorious somebody shout glory in here don't you understand your story equals glory now my heart of Hoshaya glory to God your story equals glory glory to God don't you understand that the bullet could have been for you and me haven't you passed a few car wrecks this month don't you understand it could have been us falling asleep at the wheel glory to God haven't you read the news lately you can be minding your own business and still come into gunfire you can be doing what is right and still be assaulted and that has nothing to do what you deserve but the reason why my story equals my God's glory is because if God actually did give me what I deserve if God did give me what I deserve oh help me Holy Ghost if God did give me 
repay, repay me for every promise that I broke if God repaid me for every lie that I told if God repaid me for every time I slipped if God repaid me for every time I stumbled let me talk to your Old Testament if God actually really did gouge out my eye an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth there wouldn't be no body parts left in here glory to God if I actually got what I deserve I would probably be a double triple quadruple amputee but look at you and me glory to God he has given me another chance he has given me a new grace he has given me another victory he gave me the day another day to get it right even if I messed it up Monday through Saturday look at you and me you mean to tell me you don't have an October 31st praise you mean to tell me you don't have an October 31st thank you open your mouth cup your hands and make his praise glorious because your story should equal God's glory Last week, I was asking you all to stop praying your, prom your problem. I was asking you all, I was teaching you all, I was suggesting to some, uh, the truth of the matter is, out of everybody that's here, only about 12 people take the word and actually apply it to their life and live differently the next week. Only about 12 and it may be less than that. Only, only about a disciple's portion. Twelve is the order, the number of order and government in heaven. You need to understand that there is great significance around twelve. This has very little to do with my sermon, but let me just tell you how twelve people can change this whole church. There were many more than twelve tribes. But God said, let there be 12 tribes of Israel. There, there were 12 disciples. There were many more than 12 disciples. Hallelujah. But, but Jesus drafted 12 to come close to him. And some of you all may remember in this pandemic, I exposed you to the scripture where there should have been 13, 14, 15 plus. But there was an occasion in the scripture where there could have been more than 12, but when the, the could be disciples and would be disciples and should be disciples found out how much faith it took to stay with Jesus. They went on about their own business. Y'all remember that in the gospel text, but 12. Glory to God. Amen. And, and, and it, it, it's important for us to understand that even if the whole church don't believe the sermon today, if just 12 of you. Oh, God, I love you today. If, if just 12 of you. Would, would, would make praise not churchy but it would make it this is my life this is who I literally am you're not going to get in my car and hear 102 jams and and and, and praise the light station You this is exclusive God bless me with this car God is the one that keep the oil change he keep paying me so I can get the oil change glory to God God is the one paying me enough to pay for all this high gas right now God is the one that put his name on the cosign application for my credit I ain't had no business getting approved for this car didn't have no business getting approved for this house didn't have no business getting approved for this raise but it was it was somebody glory to God hallelujah and I know who it is glory to God if just 12 of you would dedicate your home back to God if just 12 of you would dedicate the next homecoming back to God if just 12 of you would dedicate your college career to God that my friends are going to get saved when I'm in college that my friends are going to come to Bible study and not to get back. If just 12 of you would dedicate your career to God, don't you 
know that'll change a whole nation. Can I get just 12 people to open their mouth and make God's praise go? Hallelujah. There has to be a remnant praise. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that the significance of this song is that it's literally helping us to realize that shouting is not churchy. Shouting is about relationship. Worship, lament, crying, ultimately praise and prayer is not something that you do in the sanctuary. It's something that you do in salvation. Because when you realize that God actually heard something you said, <laughs> when, you, when you realize that your, your, your nieces and your nephews are not going to struggle because you're in here today worshiping God. Oh, my soul loves you, Jesus. Some of you in here, your mamas, your daddies, your aunts and uncles wouldn't even step foot in the church today. But I promise you God's going to bless them and grace them because you're in this church today. When you realize that something I say can actually provoke God, it's not about the church, it's about my soul. Glory to God, it's not about the music. If the music shut down and you feel it, you better keep going because God deserves that from us. Glory to God, if the mic cut off and can't nobody hear nothing, nothing, you better still holler out and tell God thank you anyway because God is listening. But there's one thing that will block it. Iniquity. That's why we got to get this, these burdens off of us. Huh? That's why we got to get unforgiveness out of us. That's why we got to get anger out of us. That's why we got to get hurt out of us. That's why we got to get darkness out of us. We got to be unavailable for corruption. Amen. Can you touch everybody real quick around you in an arm's reach and say, you got to be unavailable for corruption. <clears throat> you got to be unavailable. You got to turn that down. You got to turn that down. Glory to God. I know, I know the beat sound good. I know Roddy Rich know what he can say. I know he can, I know, I know. I understand, amen, how cool it seems. Glory to God. Amen. I know, I know it feels good to look sexy. I know what it, I know what you're doing. I see it. I know it. I know what the weed does. I know it helps you seemingly to focus a little bit, but you don't understand it's taking your faith. Glory to God. You, you, you're believing God for focus and you're actually forfeiting your faith. Glory to God. You gotta be careful. I know the alcohol helps you to have a little bit more courage and help you to have a good time but it's taking you from one spirit to another glory to god y'all not saying nothing to me glory to god i know what it feels like but you can't serve god based on a feeling you got to serve god based on a living glory to god and the scripture glory to god said if i regard iniquity in my heart then god will not hear me and that's one thing i never jeff i never want god to do is turn his ear away from me can anybody imagine if you spent the next two months of this year praying for 2022 to find out on January 1 that even though God seen you praying, he didn't hear you praying? imagine glory to God that the reason why your prayer did not reach heaven is because of not how you was praying but how you was living if I regard iniquity in my heart he will not hear me I'm telling you I'm serving notice on every lie in me I'm serving notice on every compromise in me I'm serving notice on every all the flesh all the lust all the mess all the sin all the shame I'm serving notice on the spirit of depression I'm serving notice on backsliding I'm never gonna go back can I get just 12 people to stand up don't look back but just say I'm never going back that's why I can't look back because I'm not going back I want to stay in a place where God will hear my voice I want to stay in a place where God will incline his ear unto me somebody open your mouth and say devil I'm never
happen when another situation breaks out? What's gonna happen when another school, mass school shooting comes out? What's gonna happen when another calamity breaks out? What's gonna happen when another hurricane or another tornado or another nor'easter or another bomb cyclone happens again? The People are going to start praying but God is going to say I wish you would talk to me when the sun is out and the skies are blue I wish you would talk to me about the mess in you don't talk to me about the wealth talk to me about what you living don't talk to me about the terror talk to me about your praise what's going to happen when we need God when we need an altar when we need a healing when we need a breakthrough when we need a miracle when we need to be covered and we never spent time in God's face just for being God what's gonna happen glory to God when we forsake the goodness of God to keep on running our problems to the throne of mercy why don't we tell God how wonderful he is why don't we tell God how awesome he is you mean to tell me you can't be loving to God hallelujah after God brought you through brought you through another year I've been saying it for three weeks now millions did make it glory to God I said millions they did not make it people died from COVID people died from this thing people glory to God that had good jobs pastors died from this thing preachers died from this thing black people died from this thing white people died from this thing rich people died from this thing poor people died from this thing Asians died from it Hispanics died from it Latinos died from it straight gay either way they died from it millions didn't make it but I'm one of the ones somebody hold up your finger and say I thank God I'm one of the ones should wear it like a badge of honor Jordan you can wave your hand in the devil's face and say I'm one of the ones who did especially if you got a cold in this pandemic especially if you got the flu in this pandemic especially if you caught pneumonia in this pandemic and what about all of us who caught COVID in this pandemic you ought to stand up and raise your finger and wag it in the devil's face and say you seconds I gotta make sure we get this thing in here I'm one of the ones I'm one of the ones that was me I'm one of the ones Sit your blessed self down. Sit down. Y'all, I'm on a timer. Sit, sit down. Sit down. I want you to see something. I want you, I want you to see something. I want you to see something. I want you to see something. I want you to see who can praise him without permission.
I just got through telling you that even if you didn't have no help, if God been that good to you, that you ought to break out any way. Should nothing or nobody be able to cramp your praise in the sanctuary? Because you remember when you was in that hospital bed. Remember when you was in that sick bed. Some of you say, I didn't get COVID. Baby, you caught confusion. Remember when you was in that depressed bed. Nobody was there with you but God. Can you give God a praise like nobody's in this room right now? But you and God, come on back in here and let's give God the best break. This ain't churchy. This is freedom. 
I would rather be shouting with you living than to be shouting apart from you in the day somebody may ask you this week how are you doing you might want to tell me it's not about how I'm doing it's about how God did it I could talk about a headache but I'm glad I got a head to hurt I could talk about a back pain but I'm glad I'm able to walk around with it I could talk about my rent being late but I'm so glad I got a rent payment to be worried about I could be homeless it's not about how I'm doing it's about the fact that God keeps doing it 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 God he heard me he heard me he heard me he heard me he heard me, he heard me. He heard me. yes he did he heard me he heard me he heard me God heard me God heard me God heard me God heard me he heard me he heard me heard my cry he heard my prayer he heard my cry he heard and I praise him he heard me I praise him he heard me I bless him I worship I worship yes he did out of here tired from shouting you got to leave here energized from believing look at somebody around you and say do you believe God Somebody, go ahead. 
at your neighbor and say, neighbor, do you got a story? That neighbor not working. Go and find you another neighbor that look like they want to testify and say, come here, baby. Come here. Come here, bro. Come, come here, sis. Can, can you ask them, did, did God do anything for you in this pandemic? I know y'all tired, but I mean, we're going to have to praise them one last shift. I told you, your story equals God's glory. <laughs> I want you to let that owl go. I want you to loose that rope. I know some of you, I know you're sophisticated, baby. I half a, I was in the Baptist church one time too. Glory to God. But I want you to know you in Freedom Church today. I want you to find you a square inch. I want you to find you a square foot. I don't, if you don't dance, I want you to jump. If you don't jump, I want you to wave. If you don't wave, I want you to bob. If you don't bob, I want you to find some kind of way. If you got a story, I want you to...
I wanted you to go praise God with her. It's because God said you're going to transition. You're not just going to be a member. God said you're going to transition from being a member to a noisemaker. Any other noisemakers in here? You know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of the devil being able to talk his talk in our ear. I'm tired of the devil bringing division into our families and bringing division into our churches. I'm tired of the devil being able to tell his story and we just quietly sit by. If you read the whole song, it's saying come and see and come and hear. I need some of you all church people. I need some of you church people to go from being members to noise makers. I need them by flags to wave. I need them hands to wag. I need them feet to jump. I need you to make thunder in hell. Glory to God and hallelujah in heaven. Because God is listening to the citadel. God is listening. If you need Oh That men would praise Glory to God If you need to be saved I want you to come to this altar With both hands up to be delivered come to this altar thank you if you're backslidden I need you on this altar come with your hands lifted ah. if you need to be redeemed I need you on this altar you need you on this altar Jesus. I'm waiting on you. God is waiting. Come on, this is what God needs to hear. God needs to hear. Here I am. In the name of Jesus. With your hands lifted up. Say, Lord, here I am. Forgive me because I have sinned. Repeat after me, I've sinned. I fall short of your grace. I confess every one of my sins in your presence. And I ask you, Lord, to forgive me. And Lord, I'm going one step further. I repent for my sins. God help me in my weakest hour to turn. Say it again. Help me in my weakest hour to turn from my evil ways. Say Jesus. Say it with enthusiasm. Jesus. Jesus. Here I am. Come into my heart. Be my Savior. I receive you as my Lord. I believe you in my heart. I confess with my mouth that you're Lord of all. And I welcome you back into my heart. If you prayed that prayer with me, you just got 
rededicated back to God. Now open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit, I receive you now. Holy Spirit, come into my heart. Take over my body. Take over my spirit. Holy Spirit, I invite you and I receive you. If you just prayed that prayer, you get ready to get power that you never heard before. Hallelujah. Come on, sit down. Let's thank God for the redeemed of the Lord. Now, I know we just made a whole lot of noise. But there's nothing that trumps souls coming back to the kingdom if you are getting saved or if you just got rededicated or if you just watched 20 people get rededicated I need you to be a noise maker for at least 15 seconds in here the transition into noise making and and, 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 and and your friends may not understand but baby you've been redeemed I told you your story equals God's glory I need to put that on a t-shirt my story don't ask me to tell my story because I may end up having church in this classroom. When I graduated. Way before. Way before. See, it's a trend now. But when I graduated and danced across that Coliseum, people had never seen Nobody shout at graduation. My best friend told me he was on the plane back to home and he was blessed to ride beside Maya Angelou. And she asked him where he was coming from. Was he coming or going? And she, he said, well, I'm going home. And, and, and he said, I was at A&T's graduation. And she said, did you see that young man dance to God all the way across that stage? It wasn't popular then, Keon. It wasn't, people didn't do that. And he said, I was so happy that my Angelo was talking about my pastor because baby the cues was hopping the kappas was shimmying and the alphas was shaking it wasn't playing but when they called my name I thought to myself nobody but God. 
nobody and I lost him and before I knew it the whole Coliseum was on their feet shouting I came to tell you baby your story is going to equal God's glory when it's all said and done you better get ready to be a noise maker because you're going to shake somebody's foundation glory to God matter of fact if you're about to graduate you ought to jump up right now and give God an advanced praise just, just give them just, just go ahead and put a C in it just ah. Citadel, this ain't for you, this is for God. Come on. Because of all the noise that we just made. Can you tap three people and say, look for the change? Some people not going to understand you. Just text them back and say, I've changed. Some people gonna be looking for you to start cussing and fighting. I've changed. Hina Mahasha. I remember when I was breaking poverty. The landlord said, Well, gosh, Greg, I'm so used to you paying your rent late. He said, I'm going to show Mr. them late payments. And he laughed at me because he had collected thousands of dollars in late payments. And he laughed and he, he wasn't going to take me to court because he knew I was going to pay it. And he said, I'm going to show Miss them. Baby, it's going to be people that's not going to understand your change. But when I tell you, you get ready to be on time with every one of your bills. Every Anybody who been dealing with lack, you get ready to be on time. And the devil gonna laugh and say, I'm gonna show miss you being late. And you're gonna say, uh-uh, I'm gonna be, I, I've changed. Somebody open your mouth and just speak over your finances and, and say, I've changed. I've changed. Your next relationship is going to be your best relationship. Can I prophesy just one more time? Some of you all who used to be habitual cheaters. Integrity is coming into your heart. Some of you all who used to be habitual forecaters, fornicators. Salvation is coming into your body and your spirit. I want to prophesy a harvest of righteousness in your life. And the devil going to be looking for you to go back to your old ways. But I dare somebody to jump up right now and say, devil, I've changed. It's going to be my best one. Hallelujah. High five somebody and say, I'm unavailable for corruption. I'm myself. 
Just ignore, just ignore. Ignore everything that's trying to pull you back into your past. last bill I paid late. That was the last bill I paid late. When I went time, when I went to buy, I had a perfect track record. And that's one thing about God. God will know you got something in your past. everything that's in your past Jesus will stand with you now because of him who was able to keep us from falling and present us faultless and you know you did it but Jesus said faultless 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 Oh my God, somebody understands that is no that makes no sense that God could redeem somebody like me. A wretch. A wonderful change has come over. Let's sing it, Citadel. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Sing it again. Say, oh, wonderful. Oh, Change. 
makes me is dollar sign citadel c-i-t-a-d-e-l-g-s-o and if you're giving physically today then I want you to receive an envelope the ushers also have blank envelopes and you see a wheelbarrow here this is our second Sunday in this place don't we praise the Lord for this place there, there are some transitions that we need to make, uh, provisions that we need to make for our transition. And so we began giving even before our last Sunday. People just began to send seeds to the ministry because when you announce a new space, you have new expenses. Am I right about it? Amen. When you go into a new place, you have new expenses. And as you can see, we are about quality. Amen. And so there's some things we got to put another camera. We want to put another camera on that platform. Glory to God. Amen. Our microphones are actually uh, going into seven years old. So we got some mics that don't even work and some are dropping out and many of them don't have the quality that they once have so we have uh, a considerable amount of expenses one microphone costs seven hundred dollars one set i'm sorry not a set one microphone costs seven hundred dollars and we need seven of them amen you hear the organ but the organ is actually not functioning and firing on all pistons. And so I got a quote for the fix. And the man is coming this week. And he said, a minimum of $1,800 to fix our organ. Amen. There are some things. We got to get some new signs. Y'all, it's just new space problems. Everybody say new space problems. And it's all right. Because we've come out of this pandemic stronger than when we went into it. Amen. So, tithe and offering. If you're a member here, tithe and offering here. And if you are a member here, we already met Dream Team. The church knows, the disciple members know that this right here is for the construction that we're doing in this transition. And so if you want to give to the vision for transition fund then you're going to take a solid white envelope 
and just put your name on it and drop it in here. Minister Richards is standing here for, um, are you doing credit card up here? Credit card and right here. Amen. Glory to God. And then what we want to do starting next Sunday, we want to put the levels of giving on the screen. We want to just celebrate our platinum givers all the way down to our donors. Amen. Donors, $1 to $249. Amen. And own up. And how many of you all have joined me in, in sowing $1,000 already? Look at this. Look at this. I want y'all to see that. I want y'all to see that. Look at this. Amen. And that's why we're blessed because people are unselfish. That's the vision to uh, transition fund. And I just want you to just tell um, Minister Richards, just tell her, say, you know, put my name down. I gave in the vision fund so we can make sure, glory to God, that your name goes on the board starting next week. I want to say happy birthday to Sister Kiara. Amen. She celebrated her birthday on yesterday. Amen. Any November babies, we're going to be looking forward to celebrating you. Any November, November, November. Okay. Decoya, Taylor. Amen. Tomorrow. Oh, Niani. Oh, you and Taiki. All right. Okay, tomorrow and tomorrow and the twins. Okay, all right. We're going to be celebrating the Novembers. Greatness was born in December, but we're going to go ahead and celebrate the November. We're going to celebrate you. Amen. Get you out the way. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, also, I want to say again, if you, if you want to, somebody keeps saying, how do you join this church? If you want to join this church, tell them how to do it again, Citadel. If you want to join the church, Citadel, tell them how to do it again. Listen, I ain't got time for no right hand of fellowship and all that stuff, and then people get missing two Sundays later. I figure if you really want to join, you'll keep coming. And if you don't keep coming, you, you just don't want to join. But we don't know any strangers around here. But at the back, you can scan this QR code. Amen. And it'll share some information with you. We would love to have you. I need you all to at least get some men to join us on next Sunday. Amen. Because it's going to be pandemonium in here. It's going to be amazing. Glory to God. Bible study, 7 o'clock at North Carolina a and this week. Amen. And we'll be back here on next Sunday. Glory to God. If you gave virtually, come around and just tap whatever you gave. Just tap. Just tap with your phone. I just want I just want to see all the givers. Amen. Stand up. Let me give you the benediction. Thank you so much to all of our visitors and happy homecoming, North Carolina A&T. State University at Geek Pride. Let me say a special prayer for the two young men that lost their lives on Friday, Saturday morning. Lord, their families, glory to God, their families, Lord, we're just praying a prayer of comfort now for the Aggies and for the person who is in the hospital. God, we're praying right now for them to pull through with it. God, we're praying for your will all in that situation of that hospitalization. God, comfort the families of these two young men. And God, preserve the legacy. And God, we pray that you will shield and cover those of us who remain from all hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, bless this offering. Bless every tither. Bless every giver. Bless every individual that is sacrificing. God, bless those who are sowing seeds. God, many of us have already given. Bless those who didn't even take the time to wait to Sunday to go ahead and put their offering and their tithe in place. And God, I pray right now that it'll meet every need in our life because your word says that it will press down, shake it together, and run it over. Now lift both your hands and now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of God's glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. The ushers will lead you out from the back. And I want you to make sure you fellowship with somebody before you leave. We still got some refreshments over here. You are welcome to them. God bless you. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you.